name are we going? Ah, whirlpools! Whirlpools everywhere! This isn't the right direction at all! That baloney cookie! Thanks to your decision, the crew's been thrown into chaos. I can no longer have someone on my ship who defies the captain's orders in such crucial moments. I'm sorry to say this, my friend. I really am. But I want ye and the rest of your family to get off this ship. You're kicking us off just like that? With no warning? There's no way we can return safely like this. Port Oyster, up ahead! Reef, up ahead! Turn! We'll take the long way around! It's not working! <laughs> Is it over? Was it all in vain? Ah, that's right. Abalone Cookie knew all along. No cookie can survive alone out in the open sea. I can't breathe. I'm not drowning, but rather feeling the weight of that burden on my shoulders. What will happen to my family without me? Is this really all I could accomplish? Nothing? In the end, I'm nothing. Huh? You... I've never seen a face like that. A sad, confused face. White Pearl Cookie, how did you... I kept hearing your voice. The voice that kept me company. Come on, take my hand. This feeling... I can breathe again. And my dough is no longer soggy. It's the sea watching over us. To float around so calmly, it feels like a dream. The soft current washing over my dough, the gentle waves. I can feel the sea breathing. Now I realize none of us cookies have ever really understood the sea. I see you were a cookie who can actually sense the sea. I trusted that you would. Now, come here. There's something I want to show you. This? This place has the best view of our kingdom, Tear Crown. We call it the Garden of the Sea. It's stunning. I could spend all day here gazing at this beauty. Look, the moonlight is shining through the surface. It's like a curtain of light wrapped around the kingdom. It looks so peaceful. That's not always the case. What do you mean? Us gem mermaids are creatures that rely on the strength of the sea to protect our kingdom. The sea watches over us, and we look to the sea for strength to grow our kingdom even stronger. But that doesn't mean that the kingdom is always serene and beautiful. Nothing remains still and in balance forever, not even the sea. And when the sea is out of balance, so is our kingdom. That's when the gem mermaids must take a stand to protect the sea. I want to become someone who can fulfill that duty too. An eternally radiant figure, able to help and protect Tear Crown. You will. I know it. I have seen so much throughout my life, but I've never met anyone as radiant as you. Just hearing your words, I feel radiant already. The sea called me Little Moon. That hasn't happened to any other Gem Mermaid before. I just let the eclipse pass by like this, I'll cease to be Little Moon, much less a gem mermaid. Even so, you still see me as a radiant being? Little Moon, that name suits you well. 
After all, I'll always look to your radiance, no matter what form you take. Like the moon gazing down at the sea? Yes, like I'm gazing at you right now, in this moment. That's... so beautiful. Your words are like a curtain of safety enveloping me. I wonder... Can I treasure this moment forever? Yes, you can. I too wish that time would stop. Just for us. Just for now. Follow me. It's just a bit further up. We're almost at the surface. No one would believe me if I told them I just walked on the bottom of the ocean. It was truly unreal. I'll never forget it. <sighs> well, then we should... Could we postpone our goodbyes just for a bit? I don't want to think of this as the end for us. Alright. We're simply parting momentarily, waiting for our next encounter. <laughs> I like that. Now, the eclipse will start soon. Please stay safe, White Pearl Cookie. The eclipse... You look concerned. Is it because of... the sea? I wonder... Does the sea really love me? The sea called you Little Moon, remember? If anything, it means you can shine on your own. A moon that shines on its own. You're a moon that can shine on its own. So, don't be afraid, and just give it one more try. You really think I can? Do I even have such strength within me? You're already shining so radiantly. You're my moon. <laughs> then you are my sea. The sea only I shine upon. Take this pearl. As long as my tear, the gem of a mermaid, is with you, you will not turn soggy in the sea. Take it, and once you have accomplished all your goals, come back to meet me again. When I have gained my powers from the sea and become a true gem mermaid, I'm so nervous. Is this really supposed to make me this shaky? The sea called you Little Moon, remember? If anything, it means you can shine on your own. You're a moon that can shine on its own. So, don't be afraid, and just give it one more try. I... trust that cookie. It's just like he said. I'm a moon, loved by the sea and the cookies, shining on its own. I feel power surging through me. Almighty sea, is this the real me? That's correct. You are the one that shines in the dark. Your power can only shine where there is no light. Even if the eclipse blacks out all light above, your light will protect the sea. I can do it! I could do it! I could become the real me I so longed for! <gasps> the moonlight disappeared, but why? There's still time left before the eclipse! This is no eclipse. What is happening? My lady! Frill jellyfish cookie! Everyone else has already gone to the borders of the waters. Yes, let us go too, quickly! Creature that discovered our existence. He's back. 
And he's here to capture us. <laughs> the eclipse is starting! Rodanets! Shoot the harpoons! Catch any creature that you see! Look at that hollow whale! What's all that stuff on it? It looks so unnatural and terrible! Oh, it's different from the other hollow whales I've seen! It seems as if it knows how to fight the sea! Quiet! This invasion will not be the end of Tear Crown! Now, sisters, prepare yourselves. Let us show these creatures who rules the sea with powers gifted by the almighty sea itself! <laughs> there you are, mermaids! This time I won't go easy on you. <laughs>